G'day and welcome back to the channel. This is Crosby Garrett and my name's Craig. So I've been meaning to do, I've been recording lots of videos for the work that I've been doing and I've been meaning to put those together. I just haven't got around to doing it. So I just wanted to do another monthly update of um, what's been happening on the uh, layout, um, where I'm up to, um, everything you see. Um, I have been filming the changes that I've been doing and as I say, I hope to uh, do uh, put some videos together. Um, but it's not really, uh, I guess, something I'm really passionate uh, about doing and want to focus. I actually just want to get on with the modeling, but I have been filming and photographing. And for those of you who see the uh, post on Facebook, you do see uh, an Instagram, you do see the progress. Um, but like I say, there is video content as well that I'd like to get uploaded to the channel for uh, you guys. So. My main focus really has been this uh, this section of the um, the layout. Uh, as you can uh, briefly see, um, I've done uh, I've done some static graphs at the back, removed the trees. I'll talk talk through that a bit more. Um, I've just finished off this uh, stone retaining wall that leads up to the the bridge, um, and of course progress on the. Uh, um, good shed, which has taken um, quite a bit of my time. I'm actually waiting on some magnification glasses to turn up so I can finish this um, uh, uh, because my eyes are starting to strain a bit. Uh, and I'm going to wait for that before I can paint it. But we'll touch on touch on that building in a second. So yeah, let me just uh, flip the camera around and uh, I'll go in a bit more detail of the work that's been carried out. Okay, so um, I've added a few more trees, uh, both on the, this side and uh, and more on the back. Um, with the back, you can see it's all, all crinkled due to the, the water. Um, definitely a mistake that I've made in the construction of the layout was uh, doing the back scene first. Um, I did try to protect it, uh, but prob probably not as best as I could do. But um, yeah, I think, um, so I've added a load of trees um, that kind of hide hide majority of that as possible. Uh, I am still waiting for some more Woodland Scenics uh, f uh, cover foams. Uh, I managed to get my hands on one set, but uh, I've got three more different colors turning up to be able to finish uh, finish this back. But um, yeah, um, basically it's uh, three different uh, st static grasses. There's a one millimeter, uh, one minute is summer uh, from uh, World War Scenics. Uh, I bought all the static graphs from World War Scenics along with the uh, the shaker. Uh, two millimeter autumn, uh, which gives it a much dark color. The uh, the one millimeter summer is really quite fluorescent uh, green, um, and there are patches uh, that do come through. Um, let me see, but it's, it, it is hard to tell, but it does give a, a really nice base base color though when you first apply it I'm like not really happy but um, went with the process uh, believed in it and um, I'm really happy with this up so yeah so it's um then two millimeter aut uh, autumn set of grass and then I did some four millimeter sort of dead dead grass in, in, in kind of patches um, you know I mean four millimeter is quite quite a long uh, piece in the uh, the actual scale scale i mean it comes to formula is like two foot um so the dead grass is two foot long which you know isn't unreasonable for an embankment like this to to be covered in some dead grass and everything um i've then added around the base of uh, the trees the reason i've taken the trees away is one it's going to make it, it makes it easy to do do the static grass and everything but two so i could scatter some um, tree dead tr uh, tree uh, leaves these were put into a blender chopped up fine um, I've got two different uh, types, got the really, really fine stuff, um, and then I've got some bigger stuff. The bigger stuff doesn't, is probably not suitable for Engage, albeit I have put a couple of bits, dropped a couple of bits on, but the really small stuff is, is perfect, and I really like the look of the dead leaves around the, the tree area. Um, and you can see over here. So yeah, and then I've uh, just added some foams uh, to it. Now the next stage will be to add the final foams and once I'm really happy with that, spray it, glue it, and then put, uh, and put all the trees in. And that really should be that back, that back section done. Now it's the first time I've done the static grass um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with, uh, with how it's coming. 
Um, the only other bits and pieces is to put some fences in. Um, I went to the shop the other day and bought uh, some real wood, very fine wood to uh, scratch build those uh, fences. So again, should be an upcoming video. As I do it, I'll record what I do uh, and hopefully they come out how I want it. So moving forward on the, uh, the layout, um, I've just finished this uh, stone wall, um, basically stone by stone added it. I went and got two different types of uh, talus, uh, wooden scenics talus, uh, the medium, the gray medium and the gray fine. Um, I think the gray fine is probably more the correct size in terms of you're looking between one and two mil size stone. So, you know, so six inches to a uh, foot type stones, whereas these are slightly bigger. I mean, some are around two mil. So, you know, you're looking at a foot, some are slightly larger. Um, but it gives the effect that I want to do. Um, <coughs> the next stage is going to be to uh, take all these trees out. Once I finish the back, I'll take these trees out and I'll do the grass right to the edge. Um, but I do want to do a bit of weathering and everything beforehand. Um, the road leading up to the up and over the bridge is actually going to be uh, a dirt, dirt track, uh, probably a muddy dirt track. Uh, going across there, so I've, I've got to I've got to do that as one of another things to finish finish this section off. Um, and again, there's got to be a fence added uh, along 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 the centre there. But I'm really happy with uh, that how that went. I mean, it took I mean that was about 25 minutes. So in natural, it took about an hour to put it all in. Um, I basically super glued uh, some parts of it and then just stacked the stones bit by bit. Some were loose and then just did what you'd normally do with ballast and uh, put some glue, 50-50 uh, uh, PVA and water glue, just soaked it on there and uh, leaving it overnight to, to set. So yeah, we're really happy with um, how the uh, platform section is, is coming out. Uh, and moving on to the final piece that I've been working on is the uh, the good shed, um, as you can see, um, it's really coming together. I'm, I'm really happy, really happy with this um, uh, and how, how it's looking. The, um, the doors are painted, as you can see. The roof uh, has been painted and weathered. The uh, end vents at the end of the building have been painted and weathered. Um, so the only thing left really is the, um, the brickwork the windows got a, uh, a bit of color as well. Um, scratch built the, the chimney. I mean, it's all scratch built from uh, evergreen polystyrene, um, but I'm, I'm really happy with um, how this is looking. Um, so yeah, so I've just got the, um, the detailed painting of the stonework on the, on the face and the, the corners. But um, like I say, I'm just waiting for some uh, magnifying glasses to come in before I can um, before I want to progress it, um, I, I guess I'm using that as procrastinate uh, not to get on with it. But I mean, it's so close to being finished and I, I'm really happy with how that's come out. Um, and once I've finished that, the next building really is going to be the Station Masters building. That's going to go on here um, and, and everything. And um, and yeah, and then once I've got the Station master, I've just got to f I figure out what I'm going to do for the Station Masters garden. Um, do I want veggie patch? Do I want to do a, a bit of that up here? And then I can do the um, static grass as well, but I just got to figure this out. So this side of it's really going to be quite easy and uh, and this bit up until here, because that's just fields. And then I've got to figure out what I want to do for the station masters and just finish this bit off. But um, that, that section is really, really coming along. So yeah, there's plenty to, uh, for me to get on with. Um, and as you can see, I've made uh, quite a bit of progress, although it's kind of spread o over, the, um, over the board. Um, like I say, and I think I said in the video a few times, I'm, I'm really happy with how things are coming. Um, how I've done the, the, the grass, the static grass, the, the layers and everything is all from uh, Luke Towan, uh, just watching him. Um, I love how his videos uh, come out, how realistic they are. Um, so I just, um, yeah, I just copied it. Um, I've also, in, in regards to, I think from the last video, I actually did a, my first pine, my pine tree. Um, let me just bring this out here. It's my first attempt at a pine tree following Luke's, um, the way Luke does it in 
O H O gauge. This is an N gauge. Um, again, I'm I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. Um, there's certain things I, I I'm definitely going to do that are different uh, on some others. Um, uh, but again, I'll cover that off. I've filmed it. I'll cover that off in a in a video. And hopefully get that out. I've got multiple videos. I've got a video to do about the road. I've got videos to do about the um, the soil and how I've gone about that. But I, I generally have just followed what Luke's uh, done in his videos uh, and adapted it for the uh, Settle Carlisle region um, uh, and not the Australian region. Clearly it's a lot more hotter, drier climate and the colors are different. So um, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for uh, for today's video. Um, I really hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, uh, brief update on the layout. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not uh, and like this video. Um, I, I am enjoying producing them, although I, um, it is taking a bit more time to get them out as, uh, as I would like. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, the next video I uh, release is one of the uh, to-do that I've been working on uh, on the layout um, for, you, for everyone to see. So thanks very much and uh, happy modeling. If you would like to continue to see the progress of the model, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'll see you next time.